hopefully they'll be entertained um, and uh, they can expect a goat because there's a goat in it. Um, so you can expect to be entertained with a goat and um, I'm hoping that um, it, it's also a book that will make you think about the power of stories and storytelling. And um, yeah, I, when, every time I rewrote the end of it, um, cause you know, I rewrite all the time. I cried at the end. So maybe you can expect to cry. I don't know. Maybe I was just tired. Well, it's, it's, um, I never really thought of it as medieval. Um, I just thought of it as kind of another place entirely. And I, you know, I, I didn't, think, okay, I have to be here and in this time period particularly. And then, and it's good that I didn't because as I uh, wrote towards the end, because yeah, I never know what's going to happen in a book. I just sit down with the initial uh, character or image. And so I had no idea how all of this was going to unfold. And then when I get to the end, there's this hint that this is actually might be instead of the past, the future. And it wasn't, you know, it wasn't something that I knew as I was writing, but I think that that's possible. All of which is to say, you can think of it as medieval, you can think of it as the past, or you can think of it as the future. Um, and there's just a, a line at the end that kind of um, intimates that. Like it would be so, there's this old, um, post-apocalyptic book called A Canicle for Leibowitz that kind of like takes place after um, the world has ended and has started back up again. And like when I got to the end of Beatrice, I thought, gosh, I wonder if that's what's going here, going on here. But I didn't want to make it absolutely, I wanted it to be up to the reader. I, I hope that I hope the same thing that I hope every time somebody reads one of my books, I hope that it makes them feel safe and loved and seen. And I hope, these are big hopes. And I hope that when they go out into the world, they look at it um, from a different perspective because of the story. And so I never think of specific things. It's rather those general feelings of uh, hope and, and love and being seen and seen and seeing things differently. Um, uh, you know, when I started off, when I decided I wanted to be a writer um, and then it took me a long time to actually write, but when I first started to write, I, I was writing for adults and wrote short stories and then I kind of stumbled uh, uh, into writing for children. And once I found my way here, I knew that here was where I was supposed to be. And as nearly and as accurately as I can articulate it, it's, it's two things. Um, there's, when you write for kids, um, you're, you're duty bound. Um, I, there's, it feels like there's a moral duty to write uh, with something that ends with hope. And, and I like that placed upon me as a writer and as a human being, that kind of like duty to, to be hopeful. And then also, um, I feel like there's always, there's the possibility, there, I think of it as peripheral magic. When you're writing for kids, magic, um, magical things can happen. And um, in a way that isn't necessarily allowed as much in adult books. And so, and I like that, that peripheral magic. I love peanuts. I love, and I love Cheetos. I love, I love the, the flame and hot Cheetos. Mm -hmm. Oh, a dog. Uh, you know, I, I love animals, but dogs, Dogs are the best. Um, for instance, Ramona is here right now, although she's gone off someplace else. And if I don't pay enough attention to her, she'll roll over on her back and let her mouth hang open so that all her teeth show. And I find that irresistible.
Well, for absolute purity fun, it would probably be Louisiana. And, uh, and then like, if you wanted somebody to like, make sure that you were taken care of, it would be Beverly Topensky. I feel like Louisiana is one of those people where everywhere she goes, things that wouldn't normally happen, all of a sudden happen. She has that kind of energy. So it would be entertaining just to be in her presence, but also for what her presence might call forth from the world. And um, I think Beverly would probably have the better soundtrack and also Beverly would be the better driver.